So, hi guys, Ace here. I've been lately on DeviantArt getting a lot of, like, questions about, uh, how one makes those, uh, animated GIF, uh, G-I-F, GIF, however one you, however you want to pronounce it, uh, emoticons that, you know, you, anyone on the site can use. And so I figured, why not just make a brief tutorial video about it, since it's getting cumbersome to try to keep re-explaining it over and over in comments, so... It's just gonna be a basic overview, obviously there are gonna be other ways to do it, but this is generally how I do it. First of all, you're gonna need a decent um, drawing program. I mean, you probably would be able to do it in paint, but I don't know... I haven't tried doing it in paint. I don't know if if the more recent uh, paint versions have layers, so I just use this older version of Photoshop Elements. So, again, just as an example, say, start with a new blank sheet here. It doesn't have to be exactly this you know, square ratio, but it's easier if you start that way, if you can. Oftentimes, though, I usually, um, I draw on paper first and scan it, like all my other drawings, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to do it this way. I want a brush tool. Let's use that one. Now, just generalization. And now um, I can do a little better than that. Let's see. Alright. I'm going to draw very crude. Wait. I see what I'm doing wrong. Hold on a sec. Duh. <laughs> Silly me. I had the wrong brush tool. Eehoo. Here we go. Now we're talking. Here we go. Very crude Pikachu here. Usually my art's better than this, but again, this is just an example. Could even be an Eevee here. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get a Pikachu. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. And... There, want nose, well, smile, well, eyes, that, and there, and very, uh, look at the incredible art talent on display here. <laughs> Uh, going, like, again, what I'm doing here, obviously there are other ways to do it, but I like to do it this way with the, um, magic wand tool to make sure that all the edges are filled in and nothing gets... think this part through, but that's okay. There we go. Uh, fill that in. That part in. Uh, as you can see here, I That 
I did not think this part through at all. There. Uh -huh. Again, this may just be a problem with my particular version of Photoshop or something, a tool I haven't I have yet to discover to fix that, but <clears throat> this is how I do it. Alright. And very crude drawing of a Pikachu here. Uh, there, it's gonna let's try to speed this along. Now we have our crudely drawn Pikachu face, which took longer than I anticipated, but regardless, what you're going to want to do now, go into layer, again this is using my version, it may be different for you, duplicate that, all that matters is that you have at least two of the same layer of face here. On the second one, you're going to want to make whatever changes to the uh, expression, uh, position of the face that you want. For the purposes of this, I'm going to uh, make him blink. So, I'm going to be doing that and yeah, so it's 100 percent capacity whatever it doesn't blend through there you know give them little squinty eyes uh, there we go <clears throat> now as you can see you can hide and unhide the top layer and you have this little beginnings of an animation it's not quite there yet because we still need to save each version individually PNG is usually best especially if you want a transparent background like I have here uh, you can use JPEG but again you won't be able to have the transparent background it'll you'll end up with like a white background or something. I'll just save it here for now. Um, title this one Pikachu Blink 1 Save and now with the uh, second layer visible over top the first one same thing. Only title it Pikachu Link Two, so that they're easy to distinguish. Now I'm going to take you to a website called Free Online Animated GIF Maker. Of course, there are probably other websites that are just as easy, if not easier, to use than this, but this is the one I like. <clears throat> and now, I'm going to upload these as many times <clears throat> as you want in the order you want. You can change the order once you're uploaded. If you're unhappy with it, just refresh the page and start over. It can be a, a bit of a nuisance if you keep screwing up, but 
you know, if your file sizes aren't too big, it shouldn't take too long. There. Do that twice. So we have a bit of a pause in between the two blinks. And change the speed, the animation speed. I have it at uh, 150 milliseconds. You know, each frame, 150 milliseconds. So now you have this little blinking Pikachu. You're ready to create GIF animation. Click that right there. And you're going to want to download that. Now, this will give you an animation that you can post to DeviantArt as is, but in order to make it an emoticon, you're going to need to shrink it. Specifically, I need in downloads here. Uh, uh, here we go. Let it, uh, there we go. Specifically, you're going to want to make it 50 by 50. Again, if it if your aspect ratio isn't like perfectly square to begin with, you're going to want to make the larger number 50. So 50 and a number less than 50, not uh, 50 and a number more than 50. That won't work. So now that you have that. And resize it and download the new 50 by 50 pixel image and if you want to do what I do and also make a version of a full-size animation uh, for the preview image you're gonna want a uh, 150 uh, same rule as the as the 50 pixel but just 150 make that one separately to make as a separate GIF animation for the cover of the full size. And then, I'm not actually going to upload this to my account, I'm just going to show you, the, like, stop right before that. Like, probably put it in, like, the, uh, what's it, uh, stash. But here we go. For the emoticon, I want to find it wherever you downloaded it. Here we go. That upload. I'm gonna just give it a Pikachu link emoticon. Again, you can title it whatever you feel is appropriate. And in these options here for the upload, you're going to want to put it into customization, emoticons, chat friendly emoticons, and medium. And for an animated one, it's uh, animated obviously. For one that's just a single frame, which you can do as well, as long as it's again 50 by 50 pixels. You can do static, but this one is animated, so we're putting that one to animated. Then you can figure out which, wherever folders in your gallery or groups you want to stick it in, and then you're done. You can submit it once you're at that stage. I'm just going to save and exit, use that as an example. And there you go. Again, I apologize for the method that I used to record this. I don't really have, uh, I don't think I have software that can record right off my screen itself. Uh, Loyola only records certain things. But I just wanted to put this together quickly because, again, I've been getting a lot of questions about this. Uh, hopefully you can <laughs> understand everything I did here with the uh, uh, crappy uh, video setup. But there we go. So, I guess until whatever next video I make, uh, see ya.